But we know that networking is very important during job search. Uh, your network is your net worth. Sometimes uh, all the jobs are connected. You, have, uh, you Someone knows someone that's applying for a job and they can make the introduction. That's how I got my first job. Yep. So in terms of now that with pandemic, all the networking is done on Zoom or virtually or on LinkedIn. So what specific tips you have for people to network on LinkedIn these days? LinkedIn is such an unbelievably powerful tool, but it can backfire on you if you use it the wrong way. So I think people have to stop using it to sell mm -hmm. and start using it to really connect and make those relationships solid. So I think of LinkedIn, you know, can you imagine years ago if you got a notification from ABC, CBS, NBC, or Fox, and they said, Maher, you can put any commercial you want on as much as you want, anytime you want. Oh, and by the way, it's free. Mm. You would go crazy. You'd yeah. be posting commercials all over the place. Yes. Well, those new channels for us are just called LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse, TikTok, whatever. Um, and they give us the opportunity to put these billboards out yeah. and really dictate the traffic that's going to drive by those billboards. Um, those are the connections that you make every day. So sending a connection request and saying, you know, I'd really like to get to know you and then putting really good content out for that person to see and get to know who you are yeah. is really a fantastic way to start the networking process. Yeah, I always tell my uh, clients that if you're networking and you're reaching out to someone, send a very specified message to connect. I saw you in an interview, I saw you uh, posting content, great content, I like to reach out to you. That's why it's an open door. But there's a kind of follow-up question. After network, after connections, sometimes uh, people are get busy and you send requests, you know, how are you? Uh, happy birthday, or oh, I saw this post, something like that. But you never get in return any response from the person. So as if the relationship is only one way, we are connected and that's it. So how can people build on that relationship after the connection? I, I think you have to have a servant's mentality. So you, every time that I'm connecting with somebody, the first thing that I'm thinking is, what can I do for them? Okay. Can I publicize a book that they just put out? Can I publicize a piece of content that they created? Can I make a strategic introduction uh, for them? There's always something I can do for them. And it's fun. So I like to give to people. And I think you just give and give and give. And eventually what I found is people will say, wow, what can I do for you? And you don't even have to ask for their business or ask people necessarily for things. They're probably going to offer if you're if you have a servant's mentality and you're doing things for them. And so consistency is a key here and maybe specifying five or 10 people that you want to build trust relationship, not with everyone. Yeah, I think once you figure out, you know, one of your first goals or one of my first goals is when I connect with somebody, mm -hmm. what's important to them? Um, and it doesn't matter what it is, uh, if you've got a big enough network, you can probably figure out really good strategic introductions. So like for you, um, because I've got a big network of people in the talent space, yeah. if I could provide you with guests from here to, you know, 2050 uh, <laughs> and, and keep just keep going and going. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be fun is to maybe make some suggestions for you yeah. in terms of people that you can have on the show. Yeah, that will be great. Thank you for that, Scott. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great questions with Scott.